Welcome back to Tux Explorer. I'm a tiny potato, and today I'm installing Discord on my Steam Deck. The first thing I'm going to do is go into desktop mode so that we can open up Discover, which is kind of the flat pack manager that lets you install a bunch of different applications. And I'm going to go down to internet, then chat. Once the programs have loaded, I'm going to scroll down and look for Discord and just hit install. I also want to download some different graphics so that we can make sure that it actually looks decent in handheld mode, so I need to install Firefox as well. Once Discord has installed, I want to add it as a non-Steam game in my Steam client so that it shows up in handheld mode. To do that, I'm going to launch the desktop Steam client and click on the plus button down in the bottom left and click add non-Steam game. It's already recognized here, so I just need to check the box next to, next to Discord and add Discord to my library. You can see that it doesn't have an icon or a background image, so I'm going to Google Discord icons for Steam and find some. I've never been to the Steam Grid website, but it seems really cool for uh, customizing your library art and stuff. I probably need to peruse it a little more and find some more icons for other stuff. So I'm just going to grab this banner here and then grab one of these icons. Once I've got those downloaded, I'm going to navigate to Discord in my Steam client library. You can see that it's just a gray box. I'll go to manage, set custom artwork, and then I need to navigate to the downloads folder. And in the downloads folder, I can select the icon that I just downloaded. There we go. That's a little better. And now I'm going to set an icon for when you have the library on the left with all the teeny tiny icons. So I'm going to go back to downloads and just select that same default icon. Oh. Okay, I'm going to uh, open that icon up in Gwen view and crop it into kind of a square so that it sits better. There's no options for cropping it in Steam, but I'll just open it up and crop it real quick. Gwenview is the default image viewer that comes with the Steam Deck. You can also, if you want to do some more intense photo editing, you can get GIMP or there's some other programs. GIMP's the only one I've ever used, but I do believe that GIMP is also available through Discover in Flatpak as a Flatpak package. Okay, so we've saved it as squarish and I will open that up. That's better. Yeah, center it a little bit more. Okay, so now I will close that and now we can set a custom background. So I'll select the other one. There we go, that's a lot better. I'm gonna switch over to handheld mode real quick and show you what that looks like if you are using your Steam Deck in handheld mode and also plug in my Steam Deck because I did not realize the battery was dying. So I'm gonna navigate over to non-Steam games and there we have our little Discord icon. Click on that and we've got our banner. It really helps make these things feel a lot more like they're not just tacked on when you actually set the artwork. Anyway, thanks for watching. Give this video a like and subscribe for more Steam Deck content. And I'm not giving you my Discord username.